Hello everyone and welcome back to um, uh, a Fallout 4 build. I mean, this is this is amazing. I'm doing another one. <laughs> Probably you guys thought I would never do another one, huh? Well, here I am as promised. However, um you probably notice I am not in a settlement at the moment. I'm not even on Spectacle Island, which is what I kind of promised I would do next. However, I went to Spectacle Island and tried to scope out like ideas and, and stuff for my next build, and I got really overwhelmed. Probably you understand, because Spectacle Island's so huge, it's not flat. Anyway, I just kind of got overwhelmed and didn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> so I'm hoping that this next build will be good enough for you guys, and hopefully you aren't disappointed. Anyway, so, where am I? This is a good question. I am here next to, um, uh, what's it called? I forgot what it's called. Let me just look at the map here. Map. University Point. And we are at the University Point Pharmacy. Now, if you have the vault Tech DLC, you know what that means. That the University Point Pharmacy is one of the entrances into the vault area. Okay? Not the main entrance, obviously. This is one of the... the Escape routes, I guess you could say. Anyways, I had this idea for this build from almost the beginning of when the Vault Tech DLC came out, and I just wanted, I really, really, really wanted to do it. Um, but of course, I was busy building the vault back then, and uh, now I'm going to build something else. By not building a vault, I'm going to build a railroad. Uh, sort of headquarters, underground headquarters, railroad, uh, synth, sort of settlement, underground, hidden. So a secret synth settlement, like a place where synths can go to get a, you know, like the ones who are afraid of living out above ground can go and live in a sort of underground sanctuary for synths. And plus it'll also be a railroad headquarters. So it'll be a regular little sort of city underground, but I'm not going to be using vault stuff, okay? It's going to be um, scrappy wood, whatnot, whatever. Alright, so the main entrance to this underground sanctuary is going to be this, and this is going to be the front for it. Now, I know it says Vault 88, which I wish it didn't. It should say, um, you know, pharmacy or whatever, but yeah, it says Vault 88, so... We go in. Come on! Let's plunge! Uh, uh, yeah, okay. That was random. Oh, door. Okay, fine. <laughs> wow! Okay, calm down. Well, now I have a super mutant in my store. Well, plus I got a bunch of dead ghouls. Anyway, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know there's a, a enemy spawn point right here by the door, which un is unfortunate. I wish there wasn't. But what can you do, right? Anyway, so I kind of I cleared out all the junk and whatnot that I don't think I want to use. So this is going to be the front for the the place. So I'm going to make it actually look like a store. That way, the appearance of people coming in and out of this building all the time, you know, coming and going from the synth settlement won't be suspicious to like the institute and stuff, okay? So, I'll make it an actual store where people can come and actually buy wares and stuff even if they don't live here. It'll be a regular business. I added these red doors. I used to have broken ones. Anyway, so but then we'll be going down to get down to the synth settlement. You go into the basement. And I will have checkpoints along here so in case the Institute does raid this place. There will be various checkpoints along the way so that, you know, different level lines of defense so I'll probably put one here um, this one will be inconspicuous it won't look like um, 
a guard post. I'll just have like maybe workers pretending to be, I mean guards pretending to be workers. So in case like just an innocent person wanders down here looking for the bathroom or something, they can just be turned away rather than killed. <laughs> and so then there will be even a further down basement. Now there are two ways to go. Now I'm sure you guys know this already. One way is this way, and I'm not going to be building in that direction. I'm going to be building in this direction. Goes down into even further basement. And I'll have, of course, some more guards down here. And plus, this will be my first, like, military looking checkpoint where I'll have railroad agents here to guard the door. And now I'm going to have a secret entrance up there. I'm going to turn it into a secret entrance, but I'll show you show you guys that first. So first I'm going to be showing you my I, my ideas for this place and then we'll start building. So if you don't want to see the ideas part, uh, you can go ahead and skip. I'll leave a link in the description where you can skip to where I actually start building. So then we'll come out into the beginning of the settlement and here we'll have of course probably another checkpoint maybe a little area where synths have to register or something I don't know whatever and the beginning of it will probably be a market so I'm going to probably have a market in here um, and have some market stalls around the sides sort of like Diamond City's market. Um, my husband, Mr. Dovahkeen, mentioned maybe I could put um, sort of like a cafe slash bar kind of thing around this pillar. Sort of like in Diamond City where they have that central thing. And uh, over here, back here, I'm going to have the... Oh, did I miss one? <laughs> I guess I did. I'm gonna have the the power back there anyway. Oh, it's a glowing one too. It's so frustrating. Oh! Don't dig. Don't dig. Okay. I hate those tunneling red scorpions. Anyway, okay. So. Back here, I, I just put these up here so I could test how many s levels I could build. So, because it's kind of hard to eyeball it. So, three levels. Um, I will probably build also up here into the. Oh, sorry, I should probably put my light on. I. It's not as dark for me, but it's probably YouTube. YouTube makes videos a lot darker when I upload them than they were originally. So you guys probably couldn't see anything. Um, I'll probably build something up here. I'm not sure what yet. But, um... Then, I'll build apartments and houses and things for the synths to live in in this taller area. I can build up three stories in here. In most of it, probably not all of it, but in most areas I can build three stories, some even higher. Now, up here I'm going to put the command center and the medical surgery room where they do the where they change sense appearances and stuff like that. I'll probably put some guard posts here on these flat areas because only the command people and the synths that are being worked on can come up here. The regular population can't come up here. Now I did a thing where I walled off this area. So this, as you probably remember, goes this this cave goes into the main vault cavern where the main vault entrance is and the overseer and all that is in here on the other side of this wall but I didn't want to use that area because it's too big for what I want to do and also well it looks like vault tech stuff so I'm not going to use that area so I walled it off as best as I could it it's not perfect because the pieces wouldn't go in up there straight because they kept turning red. Anyway, up here, so I'm going to have the command center and yeah, the surgery. Probably maybe have a memory lounger up here. I don't know. Whatever. Probably put some um, guards right here. That way also if this area gets raided, um, 
they could have a last stand up here. I'm also probably going to make an escape tunnel. Like I'll take out one of these blocks and I'll make an escape tunnel around the side. Here, let me just get my menu open, my build menu. I'll probably take one of these out. And then, um... <laughs> Is there a... There's a hound just sitting, just out there. Huh. Odd. Oh, because there's a super mute. Is that all? Please tell me that there's more. They came in both sides of this. That's annoying. Ugh. Oh! S yeah. Seriously? I'm trying to make a video here. Oh, I so hit the. <sighs> I wish this thing didn't take so long to load. But I like this gun, even though it takes so long to load. It's just. It has so much damage. Now I have super mutant bodies all over the place. <laughs> oh well. Okay. So. Oh, now I'm over encumbered. Well, I don't really need these rifles. Anyways, okay, so. What I'm thinking. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. This is really annoying. Um. Where is the thing? That I picked up. There it is. Yeah. Just drop those for now. I'll pick them up later. Okay, so I was thinking I would make a tunnel like uh, make it look like it's shored up with wood and make it look like it's a stone tunnel that comes around and it could come around here and actually go down into this area here. So as an escape route through the top. So if, if, if they're raided from down below, they can actually escape through the top. Anyway, those are just my ideas for what this uh, build is going to be. And hopefully you guys are excited about it as I am. I'm pretty excited. Now, if you're thinking I, that, you know, settlers won't come down here, which is true... Settlers in the vanilla, you know, unmodded game won't come down into this area generally. Um, just because, well, they especially won't go up into the store. Into the uh, har um, pharmacy area. I mean, they'll come down here, I think. I'm not sure, actually. I never actually, when I had my... Um, I don't think they will come down into this area to, like sleep in beds and use workstations and stuff, farm crops, whatever. They won't come down here. So I do have a mod that I hope, I have a mod installed that I hope will fix that problem. It increases the sandboxing of the settlers. So we'll see if it works. If not, you know, I don't really care. The whole point is to build it, not necessarily to have it populated. This is just for the video, and I don't know, maybe there's a better mod. Now, if you're curious about what mods I'm going to be using, because I'm going to be building with some mods, so I'm leaving links to all of the mods I'm using in the description below. And, of course, you know, I am recording on PS4, and so my mod capabilities are limited. But you can go see what they are in the description below. So. All right, let's get back to the top where I'm going to disguise the entrance first. That's what we're first going to be doing for the build. Is to disguise the entrance. And I think I left part of it up. I, I was testing things earlier and I left part of it up. Anyway, this entrance here, we're not using this end. So... So what I want to do is plug this hole up and to do that, I think I'm going to use, no, 
which is it? It's the walls, right? No. Sorry, I'm, uh, there we go. Um, this brick, now, this brick doesn't match, really. It's, 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 it's smaller, but, uh, I don't know. It's better than, better than nothing, I think. I mean, you know, they could have filled it in with different size wood, uh, but different size bricks, I mean. So I'm just going to sink this down so that it doesn't look like it's floating. Nope, go a little further. Now, if you guys know of any, uh, have any ideas for this, um, please feel free to leave suggestions in the comments below, and I will see about possibly using them if I like them. Um, so it looks like a little piece, a little hole, but that's all right. Okay, so there, that takes care of that side. Now, um, this one, I'm going to have a, a disguised entrance here. So, see, you can see I put a board up here already. It's not straight though because I was uh, I was just practicing. I wasn't making it perfect. I was just practicing to see if my ideas would work. I try to do that before I um, actually start building because I don't want to, you know, bore you guys with me trying to figure things out. Anyway, so what I wanted to do then is put these up. So I'm going to build a wall here to wall off this corner and make a secret entrance. And let's see if I can get this up there again. I'm actually going to put it on the other side of the pillar because it just works better. This um, won't go under the stair on that side, so it will go under on this side though. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Now I need to make it straight. I think I'm stuck on something. That's probably good enough. And then I'll do one for the other side too. And then, um, yeah, I'll show ya. I'll show ya! Whoops. Now, I don't have any Q&A questions um, for this episode, so if you guys would like to submit some for next episode, feel free. All right, we're gonna have to do some overlapping. Actually, it might be easier if I come in and do it from this side. Oh, darn it, I didn't want to stick that there. That was an accident. Can I, nope, I can't, I can't. Hooey. All righty. Feels good to be back in uh, Fallout building stuff. It's been ages. And uh, I know a lot of people started actually be getting worried um, that I wasn't going to do any more Fallout content. Ugh, don't know why you thought that because I said many times that I was going to after my move was over. Did you not trust me? Huh? Did you not trust me? <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh, I always had plans to get back into Fallout after my move, because my move made it so that I couldn't do. I was too busy to do any of these more detailed kinds of videos. I had to plan them out in advance, plus record them, and it was just really time-consuming. And I just didn't have the time to do those kinds of things. So that's why I stopped doing them for a while. But now that I'm moved, my move is over and I can uh, get back into it. So never fear, Fallout is here, yeah? And uh, also, um, 
I did mention all this stuff in my... Okay, that one's not... Let's, uh, raise it up a little more. I did mention all of this in my uh, channel updates. And I know most of you guys don't watch the channel updates. And I, I wish you would, though, because it would answer a lot of your questions. A lot of you guys end up asking questions the very day that I answer them in the channel update. So that one is apparently very not straight, and it's uh, going to not meet up. It's going to be bent, which I don't want it to be. Well, that's annoying. Fine, I'll take it down. Anyway, so yeah, watch my channel updates when I put them out, because they, um, they will be very helpful to you, and they will answer all your questions. Because I've been talking about my my plans for Fallout and my Let's Plays and my Fallout 4 Let's Play. A lot of you guys want that to come back. And I do too. So I'm going to. I just... Uh, probably if I... You know what the better idea would be to do? I'm, I'm, I'm too busy talking and not paying attention to what I'm doing. I could probably just make all of these go together. And then they will be the right size. I think I need to stick these together, though. It's just not going to do it, is it? Without popping up. Okay, I'm going to stick them together on the floor first. That would probably be easier. And... Just make sure it's straight. Oh, it's gonna be... No. Well, let's try it with them just end to end instead of stuck together. See, the space that I'm trying to stick them in is longer. It's wider than... Oh, pooey. It's wider than the... Uh, longer than two of these side by side. At least it looked like it would be. Maybe I'm wrong. So, I was overlapping them slightly so that they would fit, but not um, not stick out the other side, you know what I mean? But now I'm not sure if that's necessary. Did I get them all right? It's probably fine. It's probably fine. And so, I'm not sure if this is actually going to work, but we'll see. Okay. I know it's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be actually perfect, so. Uh, let's see if I can... There we go. Now I just need to... So these posts uh, don't seem to be even with each other. Or maybe I'm just not even with them. <laughs> Alright. Let's say this. All right, so it is wide enough for both of them side by side. Okay, cool. That's that's good. There we go. Okay. Now you guys are probably like, why is she even doing this? What is the point? Well, I'll show you. Have patience, grasshoppers. I'm gonna put one up here too. There. It's because, I'm putting those up there, because 
these, not these, um, these aren't tall enough to reach all the way up to the top. Actually, not those. It was going to be this there. This isn't tall enough to reach all the way up to the top, so I'm filling in the above part. Yeah? Got it now? Understand? So this one now has to go down a little bit just to match these. And I'm going to be putting... this like so. Oh, that's nice. That was nice. Okay. And put one back here. Actually, I'm going to put the the big the full the full one back there. I'm going to be putting a door on the uh the front. So I'll just stick this one in here, if, however it manages to fit. There we go. I'm basically just walling this off. And I'm going to be putting, ooh, where is it, it's indoors. I'm going to be putting the secret door bookcase right here. So I think it's like near the end. There it is. It is at the very end. So I'm going to be putting this right here. That's the secret door bookcase thing. And I just stick that in there for reference. So I need to move this one into place back there. I'll do it from the other side. So you see what I'm doing? Okay, and sort of like this, sort of slightly overlapping the bookcase so that it hides the edges. Good, good, me thinks it's good, and I'm going to put one back here too. And the last one! It's not going to be wide enough, is it? It sure is not. Well, nuts. Oh well, that's okay. I can stick one into the... into the, um, the wall. Not sure if that's straight. Yeah, okay. I'll just stick one into the wall most of the way just to hide it. Hide the edge. I don't actually think this edge will be all that visible. Oops. There we go. I think I can get it in there. No. Yeah, I can. There. It's overlapping, but it's okay. All right, there we go. There, secret room. And I suppose I could have put it back here. It would have been a little bit more secret. I still can, actually, but I don't know. It's not as cool when you open it and you can see the secret tunnel right away. You know, if I put it on this side, 
you'd open it and you'd see this and you'd have to turn and look. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I know it would be more, more, um, it would be better for like hiding it, but it's not as cool of an entrance. You know what I mean? Ooh, secret tunnel. <laughs> Anyways, then we will put some extra stuff like, uh, let's see, to just to hide the the thing a li little bit even more, we'll put some, um, well, let's see, let's put some uh, storage containers and whatnot. Come on. You can do it. I know you can. We'll find I'll use a different one. That one's having trouble. We'll just get some various storage things. Let's see. Put this here. Just to make it look like they actually... This shelf isn't just all sitting here by itself. There's actually a reason. Because this is the storage area and they're storing things down here, you know? And... Um, we can even put some stuff. Let me let me see what I have in my junk here. We've got some Abraxa cleaner. Um, just some stuff to put on the shelf to make it look like I didn't actually pick up anything decent to put down, but I can just drop some things. Um... Yeah, like one of these. Maybe some Mr. Handy Fuel, I don't know, whatever. And just some stuff to make it look like they're storing things on the shelf. Now, I would normally add these things using um, OC Decorator, but um, you can't put things on this shelf because it's activatable item object now I just need to turn this thing over so that I can get the that one won't actually fit on the shelf it's too big I'll just stick it right there um, so I'm just going to put stuff on it manually they will probably stay they might not I don't really care at this point just because it's not like super important I just kind of wanted to Oops, that wasn't straight. Ha! Okay, just want to stick some. It's probably going to fall over just because it's kind of tippy as it is, but that's okay. Just to. Okay, behave yourself now. Just to get it so it's looking like people store things on the shelf. Now, if you're following along with the build, you don't have to do this part if you don't want to. I'm just, I'm just doing it for aesthetic purposes. And, uh... Yeah, I wish I could use the... Is the top of this thing. Oh, come on. Sometimes it's annoying trying to get these things right side up. There we go. We'll stick this one up here. Alright, there we go. So just, it makes it look like something is... Yeah, I knew that thing would fall off. It's they're too tippy. If you're gonna do it, put some thick stuff on that's not gonna tip over when you put it up there. Or just don't bother with setting it up right. It could just lay down flat, whatever. It just needs to look like people actually use this for storage and it's not just a suspiciously empty shelf, you know what I mean? You can pack it full of things as long as they're not tippy and they'll stay on it when it's opening and closing. Okay, anyway, that's basically the secret entrance. What do you guys think? 
I think it looks pretty nice. It doesn't look conspicuous as um, a secret entrance. It could be just a shuffle on the wall. All right, now let's go down into the down below and begin working on something else. Now, I'm going to get the the lines of defense figured out later. Right now I want to kind of start working on the fun stuff, right? The stuff the actual settlement down here, the actual thing. I I I want to start with the hub of the settlement, which is this pill the central pillar right here. So I'm going to be putting a um Let's just move this guy out of the way real quick. Stick him back here with his buddies. Um, and so I'm going to put like a cafe sort of noodle stand slash bar, whatever, here surrounding this central pillar. And um, I'm gonna need this. Now I was playing around with it earlier and I, I kind of got some interesting idea that maybe I could do. Um, where was it? Um, where was it? Was it in warehouse? I don't think so. I think it was in wood. These menus are so huge, I can't remember where anything is. And it's been a while since I actually did anything with this, so it's even... Uh, hold on a second, I'll find it. Oh, I found it! <laughs> Scaffolding. Okay, so this is a mod added item, and you guys can look in the description below to get the link to the mod. So, what I'm going to be doing here now is making sort of a little, just sort of a centerpiece kind of thing. This isn't necessary for any, like, practical purpose. It's aesthetic only, really, so... Um, I do want it up higher than that, so I'm going to need to use um, a stair. Multiple stairs, actually. Not multiple, but just two. One on top of the other. This is just so I can lift it higher than the pillar goes. Okay, that's probably good enough. So I'm going to stick these on the pillar and I'm going to stick them so that they're maybe about that high, I suppose. And I'm going to put them all around. I just need to double check it, make sure it looks like it's attached, not floating. Okay. So. Um, oh, so if, if you're wondering why don't I just use the stair from the start, usually if you use the stair with this thing, um, it does this odd thing where um, it, when you raise it up, it's red and you can't do anything with it. Who knows why, but it doesn't do that when you do it with the pillar, so raise it up with the pillar first and then adjust it with the stairs. Adjust the height of it with the stairs. Seems to work better. So. Now I'm going to be putting these all the way around 
And I know you guys probably don't want to watch me do every single one. Because I know that it can get pretty repetitious and boring. So I'm going to just go ahead and skip to when I have them all ready and finished. And they're all going to be up there. I'm going to be sticking them all up there the same way each time. So it's not going to be, you know, particularly interesting. That one's lower. Or is it? No, it's not. It does look lower. I'm going to have them pretty close together. Um, but they're just going to sort of wrap all the way around. Basically what I'm trying to do is just to make sort of like a little... A roof. Like, what they don't really need a roof, right? Because they're in a cave. But it's just going to be something so that it just looks... Like there's going to be something here. And then I'll put the the uh, bar and, and the kitchen and stuff underneath it. Anyway, you guys will see. So I'll be back when it's uh, done. Okay, last one. I decided to use a pillar and a ladder back here because um, the, t the space is too tight for two ladders. There we go. I think that's good. There. There. So now we got it going all the way around. And it's, um, it's going to be the hub of this little settlement. Yeah? All right. Now I need to make it look like what I want it to look like. So let's go to furnitures. And I want counters. And I think I'll be using these red counters. I think I like those. So I need to find these ones. Okay. So I'm going to have like a bar where people can sit in the front as you as you come in, you're greeted with the front the bar where people can sit. I think I'll have the kitchen off to the side over there. There's plenty of room. Yeah, okay. And I might need to use a rug for this, actually. They don't look like they're gonna go together. Or I'll use my pillar. We'll see. We'll see which one does better. Rug or pillar. Sometimes pillar doesn't work. But this time it will. And then I can adjust the height too. Oh. It's not perfect. Ah! Oh! <laughs> it's not perfect. Maybe I can move this one. It feels weird not doing um, Q and A. You know what? I'm going to move it closer so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah. So if you guys want me to do Q and A while I'm building. Um, do submit Q&A questions for the next episode. Now, that's not perfect either, but it's going to be good enough for now. Now, I am... Hold on a second. Okay. So, I'm going to... I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, yes. I'm going to try to record these every week, every Monday, but I won't always be able to probably, so don't get cozy with that idea. Um, I will do them as often as I can, as 
as many Mondays as I can, but sometimes I'll need to put a different video on Monday, like, um, a, like a tips and tricks or a mod video, you know? And I don't like posting more than one video in a day because they tend to rob views from each other. I need to get closer. So, on the days when I have a mod video or a tips and tricks video, I'm probably not going to post a build video. But, um, you know, maybe I might. So, just, just know whatever you do, these build videos aren't going to be like super regular like they were before. At least not for now. As long as I have three Let's Plays going, I can't do regular build videos just because I don't have enough room for them all. <laughs> They're, they are very time consuming, you know? Um, I'm gonna put one more of these here, and then can I get it? Oh, can I get it? Can I get it? No? Uh, it's not perfect because the other ones are down a little bit lower, but it's all right. I think it's okay. And then I will have this one. Yeah. Which I might possibly could do without the pillar. Maybe not. I know this isn't super interesting to watch, sorry. Yeah. Good enough. Anyway, so this will be the bar. I did not line that up with the edge. I meant to line that up with the edge. Oh, you know what? Oh, no, I did line it up with the outside edge. Just, okay. <laughs> yeah. I meant to line it up with the inside edge. Like so. And... Like that. Sort of. Anyway. There we go. See? See? <laughs> It's gonna look cool. It will. It'll look cool when I'm done with it. Um, I'm going to put a kitchen on this side. So I'm thinking something like this. Like making a. No. There. Making sort of a kitchen where they cook the food. Because it'll be a restaurant, you know. And I need, mm, I need a refrigerator. So, scroll through here and find the fridges. Um, let's get a junky looking one. I'll stick it right there. I'm gonna put an oven, but I need to get the working oven. Um, let's get the one that matches the fridge. And put it right next to the here. There. And then I need something to block off the kitchen area so that people aren't like just walking into it all the time. Just a little fence or something. Yeah, like maybe something like this. Just a little fence. Not like a wall, but just a fence, you know?
sort of just a, like, here's the boundary of the kitchen. Don't go past it, <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah. Possibly, I might make it actually a little bit wider. Because I'm going to have food storage type things inside it. Like I want to put some uh, shelves or um, uh, like barrels, baskets, you know, where they hold the food. And so make it a little bit I know there's a long version of this, but it's all tippy and leaning. I don't like it, so I like to use the small versions. So. Now, should I close it off completely? The door is on the other side. I'm thinking of just leaving this open so that the, the people who work here can come in and out. There is an opening over here too, but there should probably be more than one. I don't know. So, there you, there we go. What do you guys think so far? And then, we need to put some decor up there. Make it look, you know, neat. So, let's see. Let's get a flag. Let's get a flag, like, um, um, a railroad flag. Or, not a nickel world. I wish the vanilla game had more flags. Yeah, we'll I'll use a railroad flag. Let's see. And I'll use probably a ladder. Probably a ladder to get it up there. Just because a ladder. Uh not this one. Well, this one will work, probably. A ladder has better reach than a pillar, especially with that. It's a little taller. But actually, this might not be tall enough. Use pillar too. No, wait, although, because <laughs> it has a railing on it, I can actually lower it pretty far. There, that's better. Okay. Now I can do it. So I think I'll just put one of these up here. Um, so to make it look like it's straddling. Actually, it'd probably be better if I could do it from this angle, then I could see what I'm doing better. It's not going to... It's going to be very, very touchy about where it actually works, so... It's just going to be sort of like a suggestion, like, it's a suggestion of it hanging up there. No, that actually worked really well. That actually worked pretty good. Okay, cool. And then, um, we need some lights to hang up in there. So, I know, like this kind. And we'll just stick these around. Um, I do need to get some power going, actually, so that these can be powered. But, uh, hey, yeah, why don't we do that right now? I s decided that back here will be the power room, and they'll put the generators back here out of the way. Now, this character can't build regular fusion generators because I don't have high enough science. I can build these kind, but um, that's for the vault, you know, and I didn't want to use any vault items, so I'm going to use just a bunch of these kinds of generators. Because this is the railroad, this isn't a vault tech, and I just wanted it to be, you know, more scrappy less pristine and all that. So then let's put like 
conduits on the walls and we can Make our power coming out. And uh, let's see. Let's do some ceiling ones. Put one here. And put one up here. Alright, let's try that. work. <laughs> I don't see why it shouldn't. Oh, looks like I'm going to need to do some. Well, let's get it like this. There. I could, I could glitch it through, but I don't want to look funny. Like that one, see? It's going to look funny, so I'll just move this one over. No? These won't stick to every single part of these walls, these stone walls for some reason. There. Now I need to put one... Um, over here. Put one right here. That will be enough. Nope. I guess I'll put another one. Again, I could glitch it through, but then it will look funny. So I'm just going to do it the old fashioned way. Okay. Try to get it to go around. There! <laughs> I still need to put one over on this side. But you guys get the idea, right? You get the idea? Uh, let's put a, a wall-mounted one. So that's a little up too high. Okay. Nope. I need one in between. If I can get one up there. Oh. No over. Meh. Okay, let's try this. There. And this. Oh, <laughs> it's still not gonna go through. Okay, there, maybe? There! <laughs> Alright! It's gonna look kind of like that. I'll put a few more lights all the way around. I'll put probably some tables out here. But for now, I think that's good enough. You guys get the idea of what I'm kind of going for. I'm gonna put some more decorations up there. Some posters and signs some shelves that I can put drinks on, you know, stuff like that. I'll put some tables out on this side. And this will be the hub for the market area. So I'm going to have the market area around, like I'm going to put market stalls around here and over here and along the side. So this entire area in here will be the market and then in here will be the area where people live. Okay, and probably maybe I might also make people live up there. I might put some um, scaffolding and whatnot in the water and people can live over the water and over on the other side over there. All right, so what do you guys think? Leave me some comments down below. I would love to know what you think so far and what you just think of the general idea of 
a railroad underground city. I think it's cool. I really like the idea, and I, I'm more excited about this than anything else at the moment, so I decided to just go ahead and build this one instead of Spectacle Island. Anyways, so leave me comments, suggestions down below. Um, leave me que um, you know, questions, the uh, Q&A questions down below as well. And also, in case you didn't watch the video, my announcement video, that I am now on Patreon, so if you have ever considered or wished that you could support me, my channel, um, you can follow the link down below to my Patreon page and you can become a patron of mine, so that would be cool. And also follow me on social media, Twitter and Facebook, to get all the latest news and updates about me and my channel. All right, you guys, that's it for now, and uh, it's good to be back. I'll see you in the next one, and remember, until then, play safe, play nice, and have fun. Bye.